Hi, in this very short video, I'll show you a low tech gadget for opening doors and pushing buttons of elevators or ATM machines. The goal of this super simple gadget is to reduce the spread of viruses. It is designed with free and open source software only. It's available for left and right hand. It can be 3D printed or laser cutted. I have been using this for several days when I go to the pharmacy or to the grocery store. Remember, it's super important to carefully clean it after each use or just to use it as a disposable product. Of course, things like this aren't something new. Hooks have been used for centuries and there is even a Hollywood movie about a captain with a hook. Unfortunately, this video is made in March 2020 during the outbreak of the coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak. The whole world is in a bad shape. In the darkest hours, even desperate measures for preventing the spread of the virus make some sense. Regarding these circumstances, I decided to use OpenSCAD and design this uh, simple gadget. Hopefully it might help reducing the spread of the virus. Time will show us. OpenSCAD is a free and open source software. I personally love it because it's super simple. On the left side, you have a blank screen where you can write source code. And on the right side of the screen, the source code is generated into a shape. OpenSCAD supports both making 3D and 2D models. My script is available in GitHub. Please check the link in the description of the video for details. At the beginning of the script, there are a couple of Boolean variables. Set them to true or false. Depending on the value, you're going to switch between 2D and 3D model, as well as between left and right uh, shape for the model. Of course, the left and right shape are uh, available only for the 3D model. The two-dimensional model can be exported to SVG or PDF and laser cut it from uh, different materials, including plastic, acrylic materials, or even metal. In OpenSCAD, click File, Export, and save the model as STL file, which will be appropriate for 3D printing. Using another open source software called Ultimaker Cura, I'm slicing the 3D model and preparing it for 3D printing on my uh, printer. I have a very old and cheap printer, which doesn't provide high quality. However, it's convenient for simple designs like this one. This is a Prima Creator 3D printer, however, it's the same as Monoprice MP Select, which is uh, popular in the United States. A single unit printed from PLA with 20% infill takes approximately 50-55 uh, minutes on this 3D printer. If you have a better 3D printer, it could take you less, even uh, just half an hour. Once again, I say that this gadget is just for reducing or at least preventing the spread of the virus, you have to very carefully clean it after each use. A single unit of the door opener is six grams. This means that with one kilogram of a filament, you can make 166 of these units. I did a quick check in amazon.com to see what are the prices of the filaments. And with the current prices, I can say that a single unit costs less than 15 cents. So pretty much for a couple of doors, you can have a dozen of these door openers. Thank you for watching this video. Have a look in the description of the video for links to make your own door openers. I've designed this pretty much in panic mode due to the outbreak of the virus. I'm still not sure if it's really useful, but give it a try. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully next videos will be more interesting and more cheerful.